This is a short tutorial on cell division in cancer to go along with the cell division song. Let's start from a single fertilized egg. To produce a human with trillions of cells within a matter of months, there needs to be a lot of rapid cell division. But at some point during development, the majority of our cells stop dividing. Only a small subset continue to divide in order to replace cells that are lost to wear and tear. The rest of our cells suppress their ability to divide so that they can start doing their specific jobs for the good of the body. Now and then though, one of these cells goes rogue, dividing out of control. And that mutiny is the first step towards cancer. So we need cell division so we can grow and so we can heal. And there are genes that help our cells divide when we need them to. These are called proto-oncogenes. They're good. But as with all genes, they can become mutated. And if a proto-oncogene becomes mutated in such a way that it gets jammed on, or overactive, then it can instruct cells to divide even when cell division is not needed. And we now call it an oncogene. Does that lead to cancer? Luckily, that's not quite enough. Multicellular organisms like us also have genes whose job it is to protect the body from rogue cell division. These are called tumor suppressor genes, and they are responsible for checking that the cell really is licensed to divide. And if not, the tumor suppressor can stop the cell from dividing, and as a last resort, can even cause the cell to self-destruct. Now, what if a cell has a mutated tumor suppressor gene? Well, without a mechanism to keep the cell in check, it can start dividing out of control producing a large mass of cells with no function, or what we call a tumor. So now do we have cancer? Not yet. Most tumors grow only until they bump up against another tissue, and then they stop. They're what we call benign. But within any tumor, there's some genetic variation. And if any of those variants happens to have the ability to keep on dividing and invade nearby tissues, we say that it's malignant, and now it's considered cancer. So we've probably all heard about cancer spreading from one place to the next. Not all cancers do, but if some of the cell variants within a tumor have the ability to move into our lymph vessels or our bloodstream, then there is a chance that they'll settle somewhere else and start dividing there. We call this process metastasis and we say that the cancer is metastatic. So I hope you're getting the impression that the development of cancer is a multi-step process. Several mutations must be present. Some of these mutations can be inherited and predispose us to cancer, but the majority occur during our lifetime and during the growth of the tumor itself. This is why early detection is so important.